Hey everyone, I'm Chris. Today I'm here to show you how to make the easiest little six petaled crochet flower. These things are so useful. You can put them on tote bags that you're making. You can hot glue it to the back of a barrette and have a little hair piece, sew it onto a hat, or really just make even a brooch. There's so many things you can do with these. They're super easy. You can whip them up in about five minutes. So let's get started. To make our six petaled flower, we're going to begin with a chain three. One, two, and three. Then in the second chain from the hook, we are going to double crochet six, all in the same one. So here is our first double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, now to make this into a circle, we are going to slip stitch in the top of that first double crochet that we made. So we're just gonna kind of bring it around and make a little slip stitch in the top of that first double crochet. There we go, so just pull it through, and there you go, slip stitch, and we now have a circle, and you can kind of fiddle with it and bring everything around. Now for the second row, which is actually our petals, we are going to chain two, one, two, and in the top of this same double crochet that we just slip stitched in, we are going to double crochet three. One, two, three. Now we're going to chain two, one, two, and then bring it down and slip stitch into that same stitch. Let me do that for you. And you can see what we've done here. Here's our beginning circle. We've made like a little petal. And then we are going to just repeat. Chain two, second double crochet, and our third. Chain two, slip stitch into the same stitch. So basically we're making just a big pico stitch if you're familiar with that. So see now here I have two petals. We're going to continue that all the way around in the top of every single, single uh, double crochet that is in that beginning row, which would be a total of six, which will give us six petals. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. So I have worked all six petals around. I've done that last slip stitch to bring that last petal down and to finish it, I'm just going to pull a big loop. I'm going to just cut my yarn and pull that through. And then all you have to do is tuck in these ends in the back. With that first circle, I just go through the legs of those double crochets, just a couple of them. There we go, and you can actually pull it tight after you're done. There we go. It's a little hard when all those crochets are tight from being stacked on top of each other, but get that little hook right through those legs of double crochets on that first row. There you go. Pull, just slip it on through. There you go. And you can snip that off. And you will do the same thing with the petals on the top or the thread on the top petals. There you go. I'm just doing a couple just to show you. I would actually weave this in quite a few stitches just to, to show you. And then just trim those off or leave the center one, if you have enough so that you can attach it. There you go. And there we go, we have our little six petaled flower. Just a couple minutes and a little bit of yarn and you've whipped up this cute little six petaled flower. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and be sure to come back, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.